today let's see uh, binary search and uh, we'll see how to write the program for a binary search we have already seen what is the logic uh, of binary search that is how a binary search is implemented that we have already seen now to translate that into a program right okay okay before writing the program uh, the one thing that you have to remember is uh, supposing you have an array uh, the name of the array is this array and uh, whatever is the size of the array right now the thing that you have to remember here is see array I am putting three conditions here if array mid if array mid that is the middle item is equal to equal to item right in that case see out right item found item found and uh, I'll put an else if here. We have to return the control that we will see in the program, right? Else if uh, if array mid is less than item, if array mid is less than item, in that case we will write beginning is equal to mid plus one right else else we will write last is equal to mid minus one so remember this thing this is what is the main thing in a binary search program right now I'll come to the program now here the first thing you have is the prototype for the binary search function the binary search function returns an integer value we call it as b search and here you will pass the integer array right the size of the array and the item that you are searching for right okay so one integer array and two integers this is the prototype then you have void main or int main whatever now here I take the array, I call it as array and the maximum size I give as 50, right? Item, n and index. These are the variables I take, right? Here we ask the user to enter the uh, size of the array. The maximum is 50, right? But the user can enter less number of items also so he can put the size that he wants in n like this right okay once this is done now you have to populate the array so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n right i plus plus now inside this you have c in you have to enter the array elements array i clear now after that see out enter the item that you want to search for right here this goes into the variable item okay now once this is done after that I call the binary search function this is index b search within bracket I pass this array this is the size n is the size and item these are the three things we pass to this function now let's come to this b search function I'll write int b search right this is the array that came from there and int size you can write and int item or element whatever you want right okay fine now here First of all, you take this int beg for beginning, 
last and mid okay three integer variables and then here i write beginning is equal to zero beginning is equal to the lower bound right okay the zero and last will be equal to size minus one correct that is the upper bound fine fine now now the loop look at the loop here while beginning is less than or equal to last this will be the loop beginning should always be less than or equal to last if if beginning becomes greater than last then the loop will finish right okay first of all you have to find out the middle element so what is middle middle is beginning plus last right divided by 2 fine then now you check after finding out middle you check if array mid if array mid is equal to equal to item right now what will you do you will write return mid mid is the position right so i am returning that position fine else if the same thing that i had put here uh, this one array mid is less than item right array mid less than item in that case we say beginning is equal to mid plus one right and else I'll write last is equal to mid minus 1. Fine. Understood? Here, after this, I'll be closing the loop here. This is the end of your while loop, right? Once the while loop gets over, once the while loop is over, after that the last statement here should be, I'll, I'll write it here, return minus 1 return minus 1 and then your function ends right then your function ends this is the end of the function this is the end of the function and this one was the end of your while loop end of while loop okay hmm? this is basically the function that you have to write so actually what happens is uh, whatever array we have like I have this array uh, now supposing I am searching for a particular number uh, and that number let's say is 35 or whatever and it has been found at this place right and let's say this is 0 1 2 3 the position is what 3 right so now middle is 3 that means mid will be 3 so when I say return mid over here return mid will return this position 3 to this index okay hmm. so till the time I get that particular element it will keep on doing beginning is equal to middle plus one or last is equal to mid minus one so at one point of time it will reach a point where it will find that particular number so wherever it finds that number the position will be returned right now there can be a case that you have some uh, uh, numbers in the array like 11, 12, 15, 35, 40, 45 and 70 something like this. Now I say that I want to search for 20. I want to search for 20. Now 20 is not there in this array at all. 
right so it will keep on doing this but it will never come to this uh, never find 20 in this array because 20 is not present there so the loop will end and you will come out of the loop without finding that element so when you come out of the loop without finding that element this return minus 1 this statement will be encountered this statement return minus 1 will be encountered only when the item is not found because when the item is found at that point of time you come to this return mid this return mid so return mid the control returns back to the main method you will never come to this return minus 1 understood but when you come to this return minus 1 it means that the element has not been found and you are returning minus 1 so this index that I have here, this index can have either the position index can have either minus 1 that means it is not found or the value of mid. These are the two things that index can have right. Now let us come here after this I check what is the value of index if index is equal to equal to minus 1 if index is equal to equal to minus 1 it means see out item not found right else else we have this see out element has been found at index and then you can put this whatever came as index here right and then a end fine that's it return and then close this fine this is the program one thing which I did here was I had written this as int element and uh, the size size minus one uh, in these places I have used array mid is equal to equal to item less than item like this so it is actually this I have written element here but used item here so what I'll do is I'll change this element as item right here fine so that's how you write a program for uh, binary search. The program is quite simple. There is nothing um, much in that. The function of B search, this is what you have to learn. And once you understand like how the B search actually works, binary search actually works, which we have done in the earlier session, this writing of this part, writing of this part this is this is the main part here this part this is what has to be learnt right so uh, you now know how to um, solve questions of binary search and also how to write programs of binary search right you can also be asked questions in which they give arrays and uh, they will ask you to find out a particular element of that array and they will ask you to show the steps right so it's not only just writing programs you can be given an array like this sorry you can be given an array like this and you have to find you have to write down the steps like what is mid what is beginning what is last like that you have to show right okay supposing I have it here this is uh, uh, I have some numbers here 67 89 90 okay then I have 789 
and 999 like this right now if you have to search for a particular element let's say uh, 978 fine so you will have to show the steps you will have to write down like this uh, beginning is equal to 0 last is equal to in this case it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 last is equal to 6 so you will have to write beginning mid is equal to beginning plus last right divided by 2 fine so that will give what 0 plus 6 divided by 2 fine 0 plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 so the third position so here you have 0 1 2 3 3 is here now you will have to show that 789 fine is less than 978 the item that you are searching for so in that case this left hand side is gone and you will write beginning is equal to beginning is equal to middle plus 1 right this way you have to show so now beginning becomes equal to what 4 and last is the same thing 6 right so now you will say middle is equal to 4 plus 6 that is beginning plus last divided by 10 so that is uh, divided by 2 I am sorry this is 10 divided by 2 is 5 now where is 5 middle is 5 so see here this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 now 5 is here and the item that you are searching for is also this right so you have uh, array mid is equal to equal to item that is 978 is equal to 978 so item found something like this okay so these are the types of questions that will be asked in binary search and you should know how to write the function of binary search right so with that i'll end this session on binary search thank you